Have you been seeing these videos in your Instagram feed? They're actually easier to make than you think. We're gonna break them down. How's it going guys, Josh here, AKA Olufemi. If you've been on Instagram lately, you've probably seen these videos that have gone viral by Blotter Media of these glowing dance animations. Shout out to Blotter Media, by the way. I can tell that a lot of time and effort went into making each one of these videos. I'd suggest using a Wacom like tablet if you have one. I don't have one, so I'm going to use my mouse. So first open up Premiere, then bring your clip into the timeline. Make sure that you do not cut your clip. I'm serious, make sure these little triangles are on both sides. This will help you later on when you're actually trying to copy the effects from one clip to another. Right click on the clip and click replace with After Effects composition. Okay, now you're in After Effects, you can name the project whatever you want. Then you're gonna double click the clip until the layer tab pops up. Then click on the brush button on top. Now go to your brush tab and pick the brush size that you want. Go to the paint tab and choose your color. Click on the duration drop down and click single frame. If you don't see the brush tab or the paint tab, go over to the window tab and make sure that they're checked there. Make sure you're still in the layer tab, then pick a place to start your drawing. I'm gonna to try to draw an outline around this guy and then have like fire coming out of his head. Now we're gonna be drawing on each frame, so make sure that you navigate from frame to frame using the page up and the page down buttons. Right click on the timeline, then click new, then click solid, and make sure that you leave the color black. Now put the playhead at the very beginning of the timeline. Now copy the paint effect from the original clip onto the black solid. You can use either control C or command C, and then command V or control V. Now I want you to blind the paint on the original clip because you don't really need it anymore. You can basically blind that effect by just clicking the FX button once on the side. Now go to the mode on the black solid and change it to screen. Now click back onto the Composition tab over from the Layer tab. Now go over to the Effects and Presets tab and drag the Glow effect and place it onto the Black Solid. Now adjust the Glow settings as so. Set a Glow Threshold of 20%, a Glow Radius of 80, and a Glow Intensity of 1. Now I want you to duplicate that Glow effect by clicking Control D, or if you're on a Mac, Command D. Just a side note too, the footage that you're using has to be darker for that Glow effect to really be noticeable. And let's play through it. There's actually a second way to do glowing animations, but we're gonna deal with that after we pay some bills. I feel like a lot of us neglect sound design when it comes to our post-production workflow, so I want you to check out the Instinct Trailer Cinematic Sound Effects Pack that's on my website, LuxuryLeaks.com. I'd like for you guys to check out the Instinct Cinematic Trailer Sound Effects Pack that's on my website, LuxuryLeaks.com. This pack contains tons of epic, droney, vibey, and packful epic sounds that I use in all my edits. And lastly, there's another link below that's gonna show you how to get unlimited downloads to my favorite transition, effects, and VFX packs for only $33 a month. You gotta check it out. And that's it, guys. That's the first way that you can make a cool glowing animation on whatever footage that you choose. But there's a second way to do it too. I wanna show you that way. This method uses masks to essentially do the same thing, and it's a kind of a more permanent method of having a animation kind of track on an object for a specific amount of time. So we're gonna go back to the original footage and we're gonna actually delete the paint effect now from that original footage since we're not using it anyway. So click on the pen tool and then you're gonna actually draw an outline over the chosen object in the footage. In this case, I'm gonna draw and trace this soft box. Click on the mask mode and change it to none. Right click on the mask and click track mask. In the tracker tab, track forward and if necessary, track backward. Now watch as the keyframes are automatically placed on the mask path. Then also if necessary, go back to the hand tool and correct any incorrect tracking that was done. For the sake of time, we're not gonna track the softbox over the entire length of the shot. Right click on the timeline, click new, then click solid, and you can leave it black again. Now bring this new black solid that you created up to the top of the timeline. Now you're gonna copy the mask from that original clip over to the new black solid that's on top. In the effects and presets tab, you're gonna click on stroke, and then you're gonna drag that onto the new black solid. In stroke, you're gonna go to paint style, and you're gonna change that to on transparent. Click on the stopwatch next to start and you're gonna keyframe it from 100 to one. Now you can delete the mask on the original clip because you don't really need it anymore. Now highlight both keyframes, right click keyframe assistant and then click easy ease. Now click on the graph editor and then click on that last keyframe and pull it back to give that movement a little bit of pop.
Now go to the effects and presets tab and drag the glow effect and put it on top of that new black solid. Again, adjust the glow settings like so. Set a glow threshold of 20%, a glow radius of 80, and a glow intensity of 1. Then duplicate that glow again using Ctrl D or Command D if you're on a Mac. Thanks so much for watching this video. If there are any other topics that you want me to cover on this channel, please make sure to leave it in the comments below. Please make sure to like this video, click subscribe, and then click on the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload new content. Thanks so much for watching, guys, again, and remember to always keep it chill.